Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another Behind the Lyrics video of a new song that I just dropped today. Yeah, this is another hip-hop video, but first and foremost, yeah, um, how, yeah like, how were y'all feeling this morning? Are you feeling good? Are you living good? Like, how you feeling? How's your mental health? Are you feeling a little depressed? Are you feeling a little stressed? Are you feeling a little anxious? Yeah, like, how are you feeling this morning? Me, personally, I'm feeling okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I woke up this morning, and it's a blessing that I woke up this morning. And it's also a blessing that you have woke up this morning, too. But anyway, what's popping with y'all? This is a Behind the Lyrics video of my new song all night long yeah this is behind the lyrics of my song all night long what the song is pretty much about is is how i am you know how, how i am when it comes down to me wanting to become successful with me having tunnel vision with me having like the tunnel vision to do what i want to do because you know, I mean, I'm one of those individuals that wants success badly. Like I mentioned in my song, I want success so bad with all my heart and soul. I don't stay up partying all night long. Instead, I stay up writing and recording new music all night long. The song All Night Long was actually a song that I recorded last night. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? I be on the grind. I be on the grind with uploading videos. I be on the grind with with writing new music, recording new music. I just be on the grind. I stay consistent. You know what I mean? I'm gonna probably have like a new freestyle before like New Year. But yeah, I'm gonna probably drop a new freestyle before New Year's Day. But yeah, the song all night long, it's, it's just me explaining like how I am when it comes down to wanting to become successful. And I also explain, like, the reason, like, people be wondering the reason why rap music is falling off, and they wondering who's to blame. The music industry is the one to blame for rap music falling off. The music industry, they're the ones that be putting all of this money behind all of these artists that 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 are lame that don't care nothing about their craft they just in it for the fame they're the ones that promote these artists see when it comes down to an artist having like a message being lyrical taking their craft serious like an artist that's like very talented they they don't really be giving them the same recognition like they do with the other artists like i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure like an artist like sexy red she gets more recognition than um a female lyricist like rhapsody she she probably also gets more recognition than um young and may like like yeah like i said before when it comes down to female rappers the only new female rappers that i listen to is young and may rhapsody and snow the product i mean rico nasty got some stuff but yeah, Young and May, yeah, yeah, Young and May, Rhapsody and Snow the Product are pretty much like the only female, the only new female rappers that I listen to. But yeah, you know, I mean, the the music industry, the rap game is messed up because of that reason. And you see, when it when it came down to these rappers having all of that negative message, having all of those negative messages in their songs. Look, 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 look what, look what it did to the rap game. Like, like, like now, because of all of that, like people starting to wake up and realize that listening to all of that negativity, listening to all those negative messages and, and music wasn't really good for them. They, they woke up and realized like they got tired of listening to the negative messages. They, they want to listen to something that's positive. They want to listen to something that's going to motivate them. They want to listen to an artist that has like a great message. They don't, they don't want to listen to those negative messages all the time. They don't want to like be in, be in their car driving around and they listen to a rapper rapping about uh, sipping lean or popping pills or taking Percocets or, you know, listening to a rapper that's rapping about shooting, killing, running up on their ops, robbing someone. They also don't want to be at home looking at a music video on their TV, looking at rappers waving guns in a music video. See... 
people starting to wake up and realize that listening to that all the time is not healthy for them. And that's the thing about it. I even did a video about this too. Sometimes you just have to take a break from listening to rap music. I don't listen to rap music all the time. There'll be times where I want to listen to some classic R&B. There'll be times where I want to listen to some old school R&B. There'll be times where I want to listen to Marvin Gaye. There'll be times where I may want to listen to the OJs. There'll be times where I may want to listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire or you know, parliament, funkadelic, it, it just depends on how I am, how I'm feeling, but yeah, yeah, that, that's basically what my new song is all about, yeah, all night long of how, of how I want to be successful, on how I want success so bad with all my heart and soul, and you know, and you know, like how I stay up, like grinding all night long, writing and recording new music all night long. Because again, the song all night long, it was a song that I recorded last night. And and just like I also mentioned in the song too, 2024 is the year where us rappers can come together. It's the year where us like lyricists can come together where we can work together to save the rap game so rap music won't go farther downhill because with the way the rap game is looking right now it's not looking so good it's falling off and the music industry is to blame you know what i mean yeah like i mentioned people be wondering who's to blame the music industry i mean it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's not really like rocket science. I mean, the, these CEOs of, of record labels and executives of record labels and a and is like, you know, I mean, they're the ones that put money behind all of these rappers that don't be taking their craft serious. You know, I mean, they're the ones that put the money behind these female rappers, Sexy Red, Megan the Stallion, Cardi B, like all of these female rappers, Doja Cat. But yeah, that yeah, that's pretty much like behind the lyrics of my new song all night long. And if you haven't heard my new song all night long yet, check it out when you get the chance. It's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. Y'all can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G, but that's the behind the lyrics of my new song all night long. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, love y'all and like the video.